everyone, this is Penny, Penny and Creations. How are you today? I hope you are having a beautiful day. Okay, everyone, I have a tip for you and teach you how to read a ruler. I'm hoping that some of you who already know how to read a ruler still decided to listen because I figured out something that will help all of us. And Calvin didn't even know it. Okay. For the newcomers, Calvin is my husband. And usually, not usually, when I have a story to say, hey, I got a story. Um, and I say Calvin this and Calvin that. That's my husband for the new people. And it's been going on for almost five years since I've been on YouTube. So um, it's, if you ever know anything about the stories, it's a continued saga. <laughs> okay, I just wanted you to know that, that Calvin didn't even know um, about this. Okay, let's get started, everyone. Let's get started. So... This is this is a image of a ruler, and on this ruler, this number here is the number one, and this number here is the number two, and we all know how to find the whole number on a ruler and a ruler goes from one to 12 okay and that's a foot and three of these makes a yard which is 36 inches okay enough of that we learned that in grammar school and some things it's a little stick with people and some do doesn't so i'm not talking to you as if you don't know i just want to i want to do this because i i know it's going to be helpful now this diagram is only concentrating on what comes after the number one and proceeds to the number two. So only thing we're concerned about what's in these dashes, these lines. What does this mean? Because that's what we want to find out. What does those lines mean? Some you will notice that they are the same length and size and some you will notice that they are not okay so that's what we are going to find out what are those lines that are the same length and some of them that's not the same length okay so, as I said, we all know the whole numbers on a ruler. You know, five to six, an inch. Six to seven, an inch. Seven to eight, inch. Okay? We all understand that. And we all understand a quarter. We all understand a quarter because if we have a dollar and a quarter of a dollar, I mean, a quarter of a dollar is 25 cents. We all understand that, okay? And this is the quarter right here. One and a quarter. We got pointing around. One and a quarter right here. We all understand that. And then another larger number we have a half, 
we all understand a half of something. Give me a half of the sandwich, half of the pizza, um, a half a dollar is 50 cents. We all understand that. It comes from our sharing. We all understand a half. And the next one we all are familiar with is three-fourths. Three-fourths of a dollar, which is 75. So three-fourths of a dollar is 75 cents. Okay, so if you had a pie and it's eight slices, you ate seven slices. Okay, that's what three-quarters is. Okay, so that's simple. That's easy. We all on the same page. We all get it. Okay, those are things we are not um, concentrating on as much. Okay, so here we start off with one sixteenth. So being that this number is one, it will read one and one sixteenth. Okay, and if you go over to the far right, you're going to see 15 sixteenth. So that means that it's going into two. Okay. Now, what I want to concentrate on is all of the numbers to the left of a half. All the numbers that are le are to the left of a half. Okay? So this is one and a half. Okay, I'm concentrate on seven sixteenth all the way over to one sixteenth. Okay? So as I said, you can look at these lines. And you will see, you will notice that 1 16th, 3 16th, 5 16th, and 7 16th, they all are the same length. They are the same length. It's all the same length. They are. And the difference come in with the 1 eighth. One fourth, three eighth, and one half. Okay. So the first thing you're probably saying to yourself, okay, I see that. So how does that help me to read the ruler? Now, this is the tip. I remember. I needed to take a test and I need to find out how much carpet to put in a room and I was asking Calvin because he went to school for carpentry and it turned into a two-year course with me saying never mind I'll figure it out myself because that's how some men are mm-hmm so Just leave that like it is. <laughs> okay, so this is what I figured out. And I thought you can benefit from it yourself. Let's look at 1 16th. Now, if you do not have this sheet and you just have the ruler, bear with me one second, everyone. To get my old eyes working here. Mm -hmm. One sixteenth is the line that's after any whole number on the ruler. So if you start out with five, the first line that goes down is one sixteenth. And an easy way to put that to understand it, the only thing you have to do is put a piece of paper there 
and you will see all of the lines one two three four the four lines that are the same you will see that so the first line on the ruler after the whole number is one sixteenth okay okay everyone this is how easy it is to read your left hand side of the ruler okay one sixteenth and three sixteenth we're gonna do similarities in numbers one sixteenth and two sixteenth what does that what's what's the difference in between those numbers you have it two so right two there then it's two one sixteenth and three sixteenth one from three is two okay let's move on to the next numbers of sixteenth here you have five sixteenth okay three sixteenth and five sixteenth to separate three from five is what two you got it. See, you're getting it already. We have one more to do. You have 7 16th is the next one. Four, five sixteenth, and 7 16th. What separates them again? Right. Number two. Even though I'm filming this, I can hear you yelling. Number two. Although 7 16th and 9 16th, those duh, those do separate by two, but we're not going to deal with that because we're only working up to the half of the ruler. Okay? Now, we didn't do anything with 116. Okay? So, what we're just going to put here is the number one. Okay? So, 116, we're going to add a one. 316, we're going to do a 2 because 1 from 3 is 2. 5 16, we're going to do a 2 because 3 from 5 is 2. 7 16, we're going to do a 2 because 5 from 7 is 2. Okay, so to save you from rememorizing 1, 2, 3, 4 all the way across, when you look at your ruler, you're, again, you're only looking at the marks that's coming down that are the same, and you count them. This would be number one. That would be number two. This would be number three, and that would be number four. Okay? So, we have one, two, three and four okay no we don't have one here um, I, I did it wrong everyone I put one in the wrong spot we do not have one there my apologies I always do we have one here we're going to skip the 1 16th. We're going to start out with the 3 16th. Let's just take a breather, everyone. Count to 10. Okay, we freed our brain from the error. Okay. So for 3 16th, we have 1. Okay? 5 16th, we have 2. That's the second mark. 7 16th is 3. That's the third mark. Although we skipped this one, everyone, we skipped that one because it we just brung down the 1. So this is basically 0 here. Okay? This is the math, everyone. On the ruler here, pick a whole number. And you're going to go to the second mark that's coming down. That's the same height. The same height. 
And it's going to be the same height, which is all the 16th. They're going to be the same height. You're going to go to the second mark. And the second mark is 3 16th. Okay? How are you going to know that's a 3 16th? Because on the ruler, it doesn't tell you that's a 3 16th. But you know that's the second mark. And what you're going to say is 2 plus 1 is 3. And there go your 3 16th, everyone. As simple as that. As simple as that, everyone. Let's do it again. You're going to go, when you start out, you're going to go to the second mark. Remember I told you you have four marks. One, two, three, four. That's all of the same. We're going to start out with the second mark. And we know by looking at this, this is 3 16th. But when we look at any other ruler, most likely it's not going to tell you that's 3 16th because they really don't have no space to write it. But you know that's 3 16th. So you're going to say, okay, that's the first mark. Well, that's the this that's the second mark, but we named it mark number one. Okay? So we did the math. It separates each one of those those numbers. So it's two. So two plus one is three sixteenth. And you're gonna say that's 316. That's 1 and 316. 5 and 316. 7 and 16. Okay? Let's go to the third longest mark right here. Okay? Only thing you're doing is adding straight across. This is the third one. This is the third one. Third. So you know you got three, you have three numbers to add up. Okay? But we're gonna be, you're gonna when you finish you finish watching this, you're gonna do this in your brain. You're not gonna write, need to write anything down. You're gonna say, third one. The ruler says five sixteenth. We're gonna we're gonna say, we're gonna do this ourselves. So here we're gonna say two plus two is four, plus one is five sixteenth. Nothing to remember. You got it, right? Let's do the last one, which is the third. It's the fourth um it's the fourth line and the last line before the half. Okay. And on the ruler, we don't know what it is. What's the number? Before the half. Halves are here. Right here. What's the number before the half? What's that little number next to the half? And you probably say, um, I don't know. You may say three eighths. Okay. But you know, Penny taught you this trick. You know, if that's the third one and we have four all together, we're going to say two plus two plus two gives us six plus one gives us seven. That's seven sixteen. That's all we that's all we need to know. Seven sixteen. We don't need to remember anything. Calvin said he had no idea about that. Didn't even know. What an easy way to read a ruler. You're welcome. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. Maybe someone else figured this out. I'm not sure. But I figured it out the other day when um, I was planning my lesson plan on reading a ruler. And I found this number sequence. That's what they call them, number sequence. Okay. So I do not need to go back over this. Try it yourself. On 1 16th, put number 1 because that's the zero place. On 3 16th, 
put number one and it separates these two numbers by number two. On 516, which is the third number, put number two and 516 is separated by 316 by two. And on the fourth 16th, 516th separates 716th by two, and that's your third one. So if somebody said to you, read this on a ruler, what is this? Do you know what this is? Or maybe you 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 quilting or or um doing gauges for your project, your knitting a crochet project. And your project lands on this, and you you don't know what that is. You don't know what that is. So you go to your cheat sheet, and you goes, oh, that's the second sixteenth of an inch, and only and one from three is two plus one is three. That's three sixteenths. That's all you need to know. Your eighth, your quarter, and your three eighths. Those you'll pick up like that. You'll pick up like that. Why? Because we all know what a a a eighth of something is. Think of a whole pie. Think of a whole pie. You only ate one out of the pie. And I don't want to get into what it separates because you can, you will be able to see that yourself. You know, one sixteenth, one eighth. Okay, so we we know these. We use these numbers so much. These are not the problem. What the problem is is the sixteenth of the inch, a sixteenth of the, of of the inch inches, and some of these numbers that precedes three-fourth or after three-fourth or before a half or after a half, so forth and so on. Those are the numbers that is a little bit, it takes us a little bit longer to remember. But I'm telling you, you do not need to waste your time to remember 1 16th, 3 16th, 5 16th, and 7 16th. You don't need to remember that. Because you can just do the math in your head in a store. He goes, oh, I know what that is. And these three numbers, one-eighth, one-quarter, and three-fourth, you, you can pick those up like quick. If you need to remember, memorize those, you can. Those are not a problem. What becomes a, a problem is after we pass a half of a whole number. Because it's really no number sequence in here. From 7, 16 through 9, 16, it's a pattern of two that separates there. But you don't have any other pattern that makes sense. A pattern has to, you know, it has to all have to be separated by two, three, four, such like that. You know, I had a test one term for AT&T. And you had to pick up number patterns. And um, it was really uh, fun fun to do. They on uh, it's, it's fun to um, figure it out. Okay, so, but when you get to this side, like I said, we all know these are still in the 16th, but nothing comes out and grab us right away. So you're going to have some memoration here. That's what you're going to have. Mm -hmm. And these last two are separated by two. So the first two over here is separated by two, if you can remember that. And the last two is separated by two, if you can remember that. And only thing you really going to have to remember is the 5 eighth, the 3 16th, and the 7th eighth. No, you don't really have to remember the three fourth because I tell you if I ask you what that what that mark is you're gonna be able to tell me. That's the longest that's one of the longest um marks. 
And you're going to be saying, oh, Penny, that's um, three-fourths. And that's a half. So with that being said, I hope that um, I was able to help you with the ruler. And I described it so you can understand. If you have any comments, suggestions, please leave them in the comments section. And I look forward to answering them. Or if you have um, tips um, on reading a ruler that I didn't mention or don't know about, let me know so I can bring it to everyone else's attention. If you're new here, please um, continue to watch the channel. I appreciate it. And if you are one of my returning um, family members, thank you for sticking with me all these years. And please hit that um, like button, share if you can. Hit the bell and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. All right, everyone. Bye.